Okay, so whenever you encounter an hypocalcemia in a patient in intensive care, especially in intensive care, you should always have a look at the albumin levels of the patient because usually the patients are critically ill or uh, they are in a catabolic state uh, and therefore, or in an uh, inflammatory state, therefore the albumin levels vary. And you should apply the correction of calcium for albumin. Why? Because the calcium travels in two forms. One is the free form, ionized form, which is there in the blood, plasma, and the other is bound to albumin. So if their albumin levels are low, the bound albumin, the bound calcium also becomes low and gives a false reading of low calcium. So which we thought that it is a low calcium and hypocalcemia this patient is suffering. So we should correct it for the level of albumin in the blood. So how we do that? So we should subtract the uh, albumin level, which is the, there in the patient from the four, four gram per deciliter, which is assuming that it is the normal albumin level. So we should subtract the actual albumin level from the four, which is we assume is the normal, and then multiply it by 0.8, which is the correction factor. This will give you the correction factor, factor and then add it to the actual calcium levels in the patient. I'll explain you with uh, one or two examples. Suppose the calcium in a patient is comes to 8 and now you look at the albumin levels, they are 2. So what we'll do is from assuming the normal albumin level which are 4, 4 minus 2 is the actual albumin, what we, we get the value is 2 and then multiply the 2 by 0 0.08 which is the correction factor. So it will come 1.6. So this 1.6 will add to the calcium value which is there in the blood. So 8 plus 1.6 become 9.6 which is normal. Suppose the albumin level is 1. So 4 minus 1 equal to 3. 3 into 0.8 becomes 2.4 and 8 plus 2.4. 8 is the calcium level in the blood. 8 plus 2.4 becomes 10.4. Now suppose albumin uh, level is 3. So 4 minus 3, 1. 1 into 0.8 becomes 0.8 and now 8 plus 0.8 becomes 8.8 which is low. So that's how you calculate the correction, corrected calcium level in a patient who is suffering from or who is having hypoalbuminemia also in the intensive care. So this is important. It helps in many conditions uh, while we are dealing with multi-organ system uh, sort of patients in the intensive care. So don't get panicked by the low calcium levels in the uh, patient. Uh, you always correct it for albumin levels. So do read more about it.